History is full of great debates like Coke versus Pepsi, Marvel versus DC, cats versus dogs, and anaerobic versus aerobic. Okay, maybe that last one's not lighting up Twitter, but it's worth looking into, especially when you consider which adds more years to your life, lifting weights or cardio. Oh, by the way, it's Marvel, dogs, and Dr. Pepper. For more background on the lifting versus cardio debate, check out my long-form videos on my YouTube channel. Let's start with solid evidence from a massive 2022 study that followed over 400,000 adults for nearly two decades hoping to answer which type of exercise has the greatest impact on mortality rate. What did they find? Resistance train like lifting weights, rubber bands, or calisthenics just one to two times per week cut the mortality risk by 11 to 19 percent, while three hours per week of moderate to vigorous cardio, like brisk walking, swimming, or cycling, reduce mortality risk by 27 percent. Then cardio wins the debate. Hold on, there's a third or mirror dimension to the answer. A separate 2022 meta-analysis found that people who did both had up to a 46 percent lower mortality risk. So what's my takeaway? Lifting wins the bronze with about a 20% drop. The silver medal goes to cardio with about a 30% lower risk. And the gold definitely goes to a combo of both with a 40% reduction. It's like a good movie in popcorn. Great alone, but together, epic. To me, the differences in the reduction in mortality rate are not enough to not go with the one you enjoy the most. Consistently doing any of them gives you an undebatable win. Just like the Rolling Stones are way better than the Beatles. Okay, I'll fight you. Like, subscribe, and check out my long-form videos on my YouTube channel. As always, my answers come from peer-reviewed research.